The GOP is eyeing potential presidential nominees who can excel if Trump does not run by still being Trumpy enough. To paraphrase DeBrat, the Republican Party is so Trumpified that its rising stars are trying to get Trumpy whether the shoe fits or not. Everyone knows my husband Ron DeSantis is endorsed by President Trump. Make America great again. People say Ron's all Trump, but he is so much more. Big league. So good. Yo, we want in on that. Sixty Minutes report that Ron DeSantis is bad because he authorized the supermarket chain Publix to distribute the Corona vaccine in Florida, and he did that for one reason: Publix donated money to Ron DeSantis. Is that real? <laughs> well, no. First, the head of Florida's emergency management department, who's a Democrat, tweeted that his division, not the governor's office, had recommended Publix. Okay, so it's clearly not true. Then it emerges Sixty Minutes deceptively edited their reporters' exchange with Ron DeSantis. Florida's governor, Ron DeSantis, is facing quite a bit of backlash after it was shown that brazen corruption uh, is what motivated and fueled his decision to have a grocery store chain known as Publix distribute the coronavirus vaccine. A lie. In the weeks leading up to uh, his decision to go with Publix, uh, there was quite a bit of donations, uh, campaign donations and contributions given uh, to Ron DeSantis. Lie after lie after lie after lie. Um, we are not going to um, hurt the people of Florida uh, just because of uh, the, the steps or actions of leadership. We wanted to ask Governor DeSantis about the deal. Publix, as you know, donated $100,000 to your campaign, and then you rewarded them with the exclusive rights to distribute the vaccination in So Palm first Beach. of all, that, what you're saying is wrong. How, how is that not pay to play? That, that's a fake narrative. The criticism is that it's pay to play, and it's Governor. wrong, it's wrong, it's a fake narrative, and you don't care about the facts. Isn't there the nearest no, Publix No, 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 you're wrong, you're wrong, away. you're wrong. Yes, that's sir. That's actually a fact. They cut out everything that showed that their narrative was a piece of horse manure. Um, <laughs> And it shows you how dishonest, these are smear merchants. That's why nobody trusts corporate media. Uh, they are a disaster in what they're doing. I would argue that that legalized bribery usually leads to things like sweetheart deals and uh, the types of contracts that public's got to take advantage of here, you know, essentially exploiting a global pandemic for personal, not personal, but corporate gain. Absolutely. I mean, DeSantis doesn't take it seriously at all, hasn't taken it seriously, put the market first. And so it is exactly what you would expect from a Republican that once there's a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel, once there's a little bit of a solution, it's like, hmm, how can we use this to my advantage? Uh, and obviously they were in Florida for three months, 60 minutes, trying to drudge up any dirt that they could use to smear me. And the best they could come up with is a baseless conspiracy theory that was easily debunked, not just by me, which they had to edit out, but by two very prominent Democrats in the state of Florida. So gross, just, just so abhorrent that this is what it has come to. And also, I think leaving it to the states and depending on whether you're lucky enough to have a governor who minimally cares, in which case the best you're gonna do is Newsom, and that's pretty bad. Um, 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 no. <laughs> they claim he chose Publix because it donated to his campaign. Publix donated $140,000 to Florida Democrats in 2022. They also argued that by allowing Publix to be a vaccine hub, DeSantis hurt poor residents who don't live near the grocery store. Uh, if you live in a rural part of Florida where you don't have access to a Publix, you're in trouble because you might have to drive out 25, 50 miles how far would someone from Belle Glade have to go to get to a Publix? 
The nearest public to Belle Glade is about 25 miles. Because you might have to drive out 25, 50 miles. Nearest public to Belle Glade is about 25 miles. About 25, 50 miles just to get the vaccine. Residents, we have some good news for you. You don't need to go to Publix to get your vaccine. You have two vaccine sites at CVS pharmacies right there in Belle Glade. Uh, you know what's bad for 60 Minutes when the tape speaks for itself, but then you have two prominent Democrats in Florida coming out on behalf of Ron DeSantis and not just saying that the story may have been a little bit off or biased, but complete, quote, BS. And you also have the Democrat mayor of Palm Beach County who has said as much. He put out a statement and said that this was intentionally misleading. Palm Beach County Mayor Dave Kerner saying 60 Minutes should be ashamed and the reporting Sunday night on the rollout of the COVID-19 vaccine he says was based on bad information. I was never contacted or included to give the, the straight facts about how these decisions were made and when these decisions were made and how it was reported was inaccurate. Somebody else who says it's a fake narrative is the Democratic mayor of Palm Beach County slamming the 60 Minutes report saying, quote, the reporting was not just based on bad information, it was intentionally false and CBS and 60 Minutes should be ashamed. We're really at a dangerous place right now where the truth doesn't seem to matter to a lot of people. Floridians, I get it. Uh, you don't like the others. They scare you. But please stop voting these uh, grifting bandits uh, to represent you because they're stealing from you and they're literally putting you in a bad spot, even in the middle of a pandemic. The irresponsible suggestion that there was a connection between campaign contributions made to Governor DeSantis and our willingness to join other pharmacies in support of the state's vaccine distribution efforts is absolutely false and offensive. So gross, just, just so abhorrent. Every single narrative that 60 Minutes has put out from the beginning of the piece to the quote clarifying statement uh, just has been proven untrue. And it's not by Ron DeSantis's uh, press office. It's by Democrats who will probably vote against him in his 2022 uh, bid to be governor again. Um, but they're coming together on this and saying, look, we all worked together with Publix, with a number of other pharmacies, with a bunch of different groups to uh -huh. get as many people vaccinated as possible. Now they're just pushing complete falsehoods to try to help the Democratic Party and to hurt Republicans. And I think President Trump was absolutely right when he said, look, the media is the enemy of the people. Fake news is the enemy <laughs> of the people. But he's true because how, how much damage has the media done over the past few years, I mean, even going back to the 2014 hands up, don't shoot with Michael Brown, that was a lie. Even Obama's own yeah. DOJ found it to be a lie. That has led to intense racial division in the country. Their credibility uh, was was damaged before from a series of previous uh, problems with 60 Minutes reports. But this one uh, is, is one of the most egregious outside, of, I think, of the George W. Bush uh, fake document scandal they had uh, over a decade ago. Maybe they were just trying to neutralize a guy who could uh, run against Joe. You talk to any Trump supporter, Steve, a solid majority of them will say, if Trump doesn't want, DeSantis is my guy. Yo, we want in on that. Believe me, I mean this quite literal. I love liberty, but I hate white liberals. Wear a mask, stay home, complain and moan. Talk about privilege on your phone in your Range Rover, Starbucks, mango, foo foo, whatever. The cloth I'm cut from can handle any weather. You just paper in the rain, we ain't the same. Stand for the flag, only kneel when I pray. I just pray we go back to the old days, land of the free, home of the brave. The man on the news says the problem is me. I'm just a small town boy with big American dreams. The world's going crazy and they lying to us. Don't know who to believe, so in God we trust. Who are the best governors in the country? We don't really need to guess. Just ask yourself, where are people moving? Are they moving to Michigan? Are they moving to New York? Are they moving to California? All great states, but run by total incompetence, political hacks, corrupt people. No, they're moving to Florida, actually. People who want to live a free American life are moving to Florida. Ron DeSantis is another one. He worked so hard. Then he called me, he said, sir, I'd like to run for governor. He said, governor? I don't want you to run. I like you staying. No, I want to run for governor. And I said, well, if you have to, I'd like your support. I said, how can I support you? You're at three. He was at three. He had no money. Somebody else was at 38, and they had 22 million cash, right? 
I said, look, if it's important, I'll do it, because he's, he's been another great warrior. And he's, by the way, he ran. I endorsed him. His numbers went through the roof. And now he's the governor of Florida. And by the way, he's a great governor. He's a very popular governor. His numbers are in the 70s. And he's done a great job. Ron DeSantis is the governor of Florida. And if you're the Democratic Party or its minions in the media, this is a huge problem because the guy's succeeding. Clearly, that's what people are moving to his state. So you better crush him before he gets elected to something else. But he's a great guy. He's a tough guy. He's a brilliant guy. And he's our governor. And I'm very proud. When we got involved with Ron, a lot of people were saying, do you think he can make it? I said, he's going to make it because he's a champ. He's a winner. And I want you to say a few words. Ron, thank you. Thank you. Great to be with you all. And let me just say, Mr. President, given your change of registration, welcome home to Florida. I am.